Sailful English Academy asked us to give him ideas on a logo design. We've gave him two ideas. The first one we did was the slash logo. You can go check that out. I'll link it in the description. The second one is this book logo idea that we are creating using lines on Canva. So join me. Let's jump in on Canva and create this idea. So you're going to add a blank page. You're going to go to your elements and add a line or you press L for a line. Then you're going to increase the size of your line and you're going to make that 15. And you're going to make the end points around and we'll change the color and give it a nice gradient. Let's go with this bluish greenish color because we don't know Seiful's color scheme. He didn't share that with us. Then you're going to reduce the size, rotate it. We are now creating a bended book. Then you're going to move your shape to create a book that is being paged. Then we'll duplicate that shape and we're going to rotate it. And we're going to align it on top of our first shape. Always use your arrows and you will then go to your line type and choose curved curved allow us to curve the lines and bend them like beckham <laughs> and then it allows us to create a bended bookish kind of a design and you can always send it back for cleaner looking design next you're going to add another line and by duplicating the line, rotating it, moving it to the bottom, and then adding it to your page, and then you're going to curve this one as well. This, you're going to make it a little bit longer. Curve it so that it looks like a page. Then you're going to send this one to back as well so that it looks nice and clean. We're going to group the shapes and duplicate them. Move them to the side and add a rectangle. So press R for a rectangle for a square shape. And then you're going to reduce the shape so that you can cut it for the second shape that we would like to create. Or the second page that we would like to create. And we change the color to white. And then we are going to group and add it to the first page. And then we're going to send it to back. And we're going to rotate and start adjusting. And we can always select and go to our layers. And we want to ungroup this group. And we want this white shape so that we can rotate it and move it just enough that it covers the second page like that. And you do exactly the same for the last section. And that takes care of our pages. You highlight everything, you group, and you unlock this one. And you have pages. You press L for a line. You rotate the line to 90 degrees. Depends on how what you want your design to be. You make the rounded pointers to be rounded you increase it to 25 and then you add it next to your design use the type gradient app to add the text of the business name
And you add your slogan and that takes care of your second design using curves and using beautiful color. Quick interruption, if you're not aware, I do have a Canva course that can teach you the A to Z of creativity on Canva at Udemy. Check out the link at the description below. I will see you there. Let's get back to changing it and adding it to a mock-up. You're not stuck showcasing your work with just 3D. You can always use mockups on Canva. From your home page, you're going to select apps and you're going to select mockups. And on the mockups, you're going to pick any mockups, whether it's apparel, whether it's packaging or print. So for this design, we're going to choose apparel. We're going to pick a t-shirt and then we scroll and pick any of these t-shirts that we want to use. I liked this one. So you select and you open it up. Once it's loaded, you're going to select. And then you can always use upload or designs because we have a design we're going to go to our design and it is this one that we're currently busy with if you scroll down if you have more than one design then you can pick any of the designs that are busy on that particular page that you're busy with i want to use this design and you're going to click on select once it's loaded you can do the adjustments by clicking on an adjust image and you can bring it a little bit up you can crop it and make it a little bit bigger and you click on save and then it gets applied to your design you then have an option of saving the image and you can use it in a design or you can download it if you've missed the video where we created an sea design ideas for saveful english academy you can go watch it now. I will see you on our next video.